What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Daddy Kane here. Gonna do a little bit of a early evening trash picking. The sun's still out and um, hopefully there's some trash out. We'll see, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, I'm not sure people are putting anything out today or not, but hopefully we can find something and looks like we are rolling up. What do y'all think about that? Yeah, that's kind of dirty. It was, it's a glider, one of those um, for like a nursery. Go for mama to sit on when she's rocking her baby to sleep. But uh, that was really, really dingy, real dirty. I'm not sure how it gets that dirty, to be honest with you. But yeah, we're going to pass that one up. So let's see how it goes. Um, it's a really short drive. Won't be too much filming probably in this section. I'm not sure if I'll be driving tonight also. Tonight is Game of Thrones. We'll, we'll, who's a Game of Thrones fan? Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. You like Game of Thrones? It's the second episode of the final season and we are totally stoked uh, about this last season, guys. And uh, if you are not a fan or haven't watched it, blah, 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 nobody cares. You guys always seem to want to make your way out and say, hey, well, I've never even watched a season of Game of Thrones. So maybe after the episode tonight, might hit a couple uh neighborhoods so stay tuned not sure what we're gonna do yet but right now we're doing some late evening driving with daddy kane if you're new to my channel what we do is uh, we go to trash picking we usually go at night i've tried a couple of different things i've tried during the day it didn't really turn out so well uh, i'm going a little bit earlier today and see what we can find out there it is sunday people tend to put stuff out early on a sunday so we're gonna see if we can get ahead of the crowd being that it's still a little bit earlier a little one. Well, this house is a little one for sale, so they got some stuff out. You know, I've never picked one of these up before because I don't know if they work. But they got some shoes in here. But <laughs> Why 
What in the world? I don't know. That's cool. Another one. Okay. Not too bad on a uh, Alright, today hasn't been half bad actually. Um, kind of paid off leaving a little bit early. What is this? Oh, that's one of those. Uh, that's one of those garden hose reels that are on some wheels. And there's another one in the back, so this one must be like really rusted or in bad condition. Because I saw they had a brand new one. Right, right back. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the camera or not. But yeah, not too bad of a day. Not too bad of a day. Uh, I've probably been driving around for about 30 minutes and I found some decent stuff. Right, guys, let's take a quick look. Um, you saw what it was. Not a whole lot, but take a quick look. Now, most of these here are going to be like family. Um, family slides but the reason I got it is because they've got something like this to say view of Hong Kong so I'm curious to see how much these are worth you got stuff like this uh, I want to say these are probably just let me see if we can see anything uh, yeah you can see some of those some kind of statue or something. So they're probably photos from people in their vacations. But it's these views of Hong Kong and some of these other ones that are in here that I want to take a look at. Now, opening this up, these cars caught my eye because I thought they might have been brass, but it turns out they're just, I don't know, it says antique car bank pillbox coupe. I don't see where you would enter in any kind of coin 
but nonetheless might be collectible a bunch of chess pieces <laughs> so you've got what is this a steel scent 1943 wow another steel scent from 1943 lucky new don't know how much these are worth another steel scent yeah so three pennies but might be worth more also found this glass dish I'm not sure what it's for but it says Looney Tunes 1995 Castle Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and Tasmanian Devil playing basketball Nice little box here. Looks like there's some goodies inside. Some games. Oh yeah. Let's take that. It's a nice little plant center here. A little bit of surface rust, but nothing bad. These are that foam cheap stuff. Crimson decorations. We'll go with this. Don't scrap this. Resell it. These are actually really good resellers. Hey, what's going on now? Uh -huh. no, I'm just checking out these TVs, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Check this out. Check what? out my old TV. I got this big ass fucking projection screen that I used to watch NFL football. Uh huh. Big motherfucker. Ain't got a scratch on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but it ain't, takes four men to move it. Oh, really? And a trailer. And a trailer. Yeah, Oof. it's a big motherfucker, but you know what I'm talking about, NFL yeah. Live? Yeah. This motherfucker is high definition and all that and all that, man. If that motherfucker flinches his ass on the on the screen uh -huh. and, and knocks him down or the uh, the guy passes the ball or what, uh -huh. it's all there. Really? And it's, it's all there. I mean, probably one bet more better projection screens that I ever owned in my life mm -hmm. doesn't have a scratch on it hmm. you want to check it out man that's, that might be a little big for me man well yeah. I mean but I got three or four days to just kind of say hey brother yeah if you want it you can take it alright because I'm heading somewhere else man you know what I'm saying yeah now I got, yeah. I got another place to be and thing. yeah yeah Local. What, what, what union were you with? Well, are you I, with? I, right now I'm I'm a cross between, but between a, a local 68 and 211. Okay. Because I'm a plumber 
pipe fitter, oh, welder, plumber. Okay. and things, uh, engineer, uh, uh -huh. uh, Texas State. All right, guys, so I cut that conversation short uh, when I was recording uh, because I wasn't sure how long I was going to be there. We ended up talking for about 10 minutes. Uh, just did about different things. He ended up getting into politics and he got a phone call and he had to go away. But it goes to show you that, man, people, when they start throwing stuff out, they start offering more things. Now, he had, he said he had some kind of big projection TV. Uh, you heard, you heard what he said. It was supposed to be some kind of really, really good TV. I don't know. Um, not my thing. Some people pick up those projection TVs for the bulbs. Some pick them up for the screens and uh, they, they can part them out, I guess. But getting caught isn't always the worst thing. Sometimes it can be a good thing. And uh, if you would have had some stuff that I that I collected or stuff that I was looking for, I mean, that would have been a great connection. But, you know, it don't always happen out that way. Sometimes they get stuff that they don't want. He happened to be moving out. And uh, he's probably taking away all the good stuff. He just had some, a couple crappy things he's trying to get rid of. So, yeah, you do get caught. And that's how you react. You just talk. Let them know what you're doing. And it goes by usually, well, for me, always really smooth. These are scented stuff.
Um, I have no idea what this is. Cold heat. Soldering tool. Funny. That's gonna be it. God.
these, but. that easy. Alright, so I'm on my way now to go to Goodwill. Uh, those two bags of clothes that I found last night, I went through them and um, I should be able to sell them, but I, I've just got too much stuff right now. So all the stuff's gonna eventually go to Goodwill where it doesn't sell anyways. So I decided to just go ahead and take it now. And um, it's two big bags full. And uh, there was a bunch of clothes, shirts, bathing suits, and, um, and also some like sheets. So I didn't go through that. Um, in my video as far as reveal what I found but that's what was in that bag a bunch of shirts and stuff like that so Outside, and uh, it's a good day to make a little bit of money so we're out to go drop off a couple items meet some people here by the local high school and uh, it's about four cells that we've been popping today and uh, it's all stuff that I just recently found too I got those two slides in the back I got that little uh, razor dirt bike and that medical um, shower chair uh, from just I think it was either in this pick that's in this video or the one the last week i got i get i get them all confused but um, yeah i think so
guys see that there that was four back to back to back to back <laughs> sales and they were all within 15 minutes of each other I was able to coordinate everybody to get there around the same time so I was really fortunate about that because a lot of times people are back and forth on when they can meet they can't meet here they can't meet there they want to meet somewhere else so that worked out great uh, that was hundred and ten dollars worth of stuff right there I was able to add on that little scooter for that lady who picked up that um, that little dirt bike. So apparently, she, I don't know if you can hear or not, but she said that she has another one at home that's broken and that she's hoping that she can make, um, I guess make one out of the two. I told her that, that, that I don't have a charger, I wasn't able to charge it, and that the battery might not be any good. She said she's good with that, she's got the good battery, I guess. Uh, something on the other bike wasn't working so yeah back to back to back to back sales and um, $110 uh, richer and um, it's kind of late it's 1:45 in the afternoon right now and I saw a garage sale down the street and um, I'll talk to you about that here in just a second because it's a pretty neat garage sale they do this about two to four times a year and uh, I'll get this one on this video so you can see all the stuff that they got all right so we're here guys and um so what these people do here they do a garage sale for uh, to raise money for special needs uh olympic teams and uh they always got a lot of good stuff so let's see if we can find anything Take it over there, all the barriers to maybe pick up. Pick up a Ma'am, here's
Ten ten dollars. So we got both of these for five bucks. They're pretty good because they sell about fifteen to twenty dollars each. I was looking at this cool helmet and this World War II jacket, but I'm gonna pass it on it. I did ask him about video games, so we're gonna see what he comes out with. Hopefully, he has some uh, some good cool stuff. All right, guys. So we're making money than spending money, but uh, this is an uh, old vintage uh, Kenwood. I say vintage, not antique or nothing but you know it's old school Kenwood uh, compact disc player little Walkman and also the um, a little bit older Discman by Sony it has the headphones and uh, he also had the Super Nintendo so it's a little bit yellowed um, he says it works comes with the cables and a controller and uh, he said that He said he might have video games, but uh, right now the kids are playing them. Um, like I said, he, he is a coach for a special needs team. They do different sports um, all across the state. And um, I'm waiting for this guy. He's parked in the little road. And he said right now the kids are using the other games, so he doesn't know which ones they're playing with or which ones they want to keep. And uh, I gave him my phone number. And he told me that they're constantly getting new stuff. So I'll give him my number. I got his his card. And I'm going to actually text him. That way he can save my number to his phone. Saying, hey, this is, you know, the guy who's wanting all that collectible stuff. <clears throat> and I'm hoping that as he's getting stuff throughout the year. And um, he says he's supposed to get some more stuff tonight. If it's something that I can use or something that I collect or I can resell. Man, if he calls me first, I'll be great. It's a good contact to have because he's constantly getting new stuff. Being that he's getting donations all the time. <clears throat> like that trench coat was a World War II trench coat. Um, he was asking 50 for it. And I wanted to jump on it. But I'm glad I didn't. Even though it is for a good cause. But, you know, I don't collect that stuff. If I was a collector, I might have gotten it. But I do this stuff to resell. And I saw those selling on eBay for 30 to 45 bucks. And, um... I don't think I would have broken even. I would have been lucky to break even. So I ended up passing out. I'm glad I looked it up there uh, towards the end because I wasn't going to get it. I figured that would have been something I could buy for 200 bucks. But I was looking at them online on eBay and what they've been selling for. They're not selling anywhere near $200. There's a couple of nice little entertainment centers, but... We don't have a lot of room for that right now. Let's see what we got in here. Pine cones. Christmas stuff. this little guy is so I could test out like video gaming equipment and like VCRs and DVDs players that I get and it'd be nice to have just a small little TV like this in the garage to be able to test that stuff on them 
And this sucker is heavy for being so small. Good lord. Oh, here's a. I don't know if I caught this on film or not, but that was a little uh, apple mouse. And I know I did get this earlier. This was a, <laughs> a little OU guy. 1979. There's got to be some value here, I think. If not, I think he's still pretty much pretty cool. Man, you know I love these slides. This one looks real good. have a lady who's been picking up all my uh, tables so that's a guaranteed sell over here tomorrow I bet that is nice look at this gas pump oh yeah I guess today is a little tyke stay up in order to get that train table in here. Because that is actually a really nice table. Except the gal, is that wet? Yeah. Still so.
tombstone. Striking out over here. a projector.
I'm guessing that's where we stand. I'm hoping this stuff is complete. Right. Who knows? These lan lanyards, uh, a lot of people use those for their badges, and uh, the Wonder Woman backpack is actually real nice, so I'm going to try to sell that, minus the pins. Of course, you saw the costume jewelry in here. Let's see, a little costume jewelry. In about what 70 cents and change, but I'm gonna see what else I can find.
guys know, some of these DVD VHS combos pull some money. It's Toshiba, I'm not sure about that one, but we'll check it out. Move some stuff around back here too, so. Got some room again. gone now. Mm. Pretty good condition. Dang, the sucker's heavy too. thinking if this one's broken something's wrong with this and I'm just not seeing it <sighs> got the table ah man this is all rusted up bottom Oof. some good scrap though I was hoping to at least take those chairs, but. All right, what are we gonna do?
Mind you, it is mostly pennies, right? But good lord, man, it is money. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back in here. I'll take it to my jar at the house. See anything else over there? We got over here. this up. Rub against this. Make some room in here. Load it right in. What's going on, guys? So here is the day after our late night picking, and um, I'm about to run through this pretty quick because uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like it's gonna start raining here in a minute. So, quick run through. You got that house. You remember the house, right? Real good conditions. You can see the colors real nice. Just needs to be a couple of screws that came loose and to get put back together. Uh, this 
is that slide. I took it apart. We had that car's play table. Remember that backpack there? There's that little TV. I'm sure it works. It had the remote control taped onto the top of it. Bunch of other little stuff here. Little trunk for a kid. I'm not sure if it works. Um, looks like it does. This should just slide right in. Uh, that little gas tank thing. Has a little tambourine set for kids. A bunch of little baby shoes. People play some with these little baby shoes, to be honest with you. It's dried right. It didn't be cleaned up. Uh, that piggy bank full of change. What else we got? That picnic table. This dolly little furniture mover thing I picked up a bunch of razor scooters um, and the only reason I picked those up is that we're gonna have a garage here pretty soon and um, those things will solve at the garage pretty easily and that razor dirt bike a bunch of toys what else that trunk those in here yeah those Wii games camcorder it was just a bunch of things so it was a pretty good night real busy and um i need to hurry up and put this up because i'm starting to feel the water starting to sprinkle just a tiny bit but thanks again for hanging out with me guys if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that like button let me know we're doing a good job don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this we try to put a video out every week uh, and if we don't uh, i'll try to get two in the next week so yeah thanks for hanging out with me to the end guys it's your boy daddy kane peace